All right, so here we go with the first one. Now, instead of just calling it matrix A and matrix B, the rows and columns have some meaning to them now. So matrix A, you got days of the week or the rows, and up top, you got the number, of, the type of gas sold. So on Monday, you sold 240 gallons of regular. All right, so that's what that means. And then down in matrix B, again, you have the types of gas being sold and then how much we're selling it for on top and the profit we get for selling that type of gas. First, right off the bat, let's calculate A times B, right? And then we'll get a matrix that all looks the same. All of us will have the same numbers in there. And now we got to talk about, well, what do these rows and columns mean now, all right, with these numbers in here? So first, make sure we can multiply them. Matrix A, what size? Three by three. How about matrix B? Three by two, darn right, we can multiply and look at those inside numbers. They're both the same. So now we look at the outside numbers and that tells us our answer, three by two. All right, I should have a three by two matrix here. And look, uh, I'll do one of them. To, actually, you know what, I'll do two of them with you just to make sure we're good here. All right, here we go. First spot, row one, column one. Row, first matrix, column, second matrix. So here are the numbers I should be multiplying and adding together. 240 times $1.80. Keep going, plus 300 times $1.90. Plus 160 times two. There's the first one. And by the way, just to give you a heads up, because I know I watched some of you guys do this yesterday, you, ju you just type everything right in the calculator without writing anything down. I need to see this work on Thursday. All right, because if you just give me a matrix that's incorrect, I can't give you any partial credit. All right, at least if you write everything out and I could say, hey, that number's wrong, I can give you a, a lot more partial credit. All right, so please show all your work on Thursday's test. Quiz, sorry. All right, and I'll do one more with you. I'll do row one, column two now. So now I'm doing this column right here with it. All right, what do we got now? 240 again, but now I'm gonna multiply it by 0.3. 300 again, but with 0.34. And then 160 again, but now I'm multiplying it with 0.38. All right, there's your first row. You guys have, what, two more rows to go. All right, three rows, two columns. So I'll let you guys go ahead, work, and then I'll throw the finished product up here in a couple minutes. I'll let you have plenty of time to work though. All right, let me write down the rest of them here. Make sure we match. If you don't match, just write down the correct one. There's really not enough time to go back and see where your mistake was. Now we got to talk. I have no idea how to answer part B unless you know what all the numbers mean. So what do the rows mean and what do the columns mean? Well, let me ask you guys, go back to matrix A. Do you multiply rows or columns in matrix A? Row. And what are the rows represent in matrix A? So your rows and your answer are your days, right? I do row times column. So that tells me the rows are the days. So row one is Monday, row two is Tuesday, and row three is Wednesday. 
And now what columns did I multiply? We'll go to matrix B because that's the one I do columns with. So column number one is going to be selling price per gallon, right? Selling price per gallon. And then column two will be your profit. So that's how I identify what the rows and columns of my answer is. The rows always come from the first one and the columns always come from the second one, just like we multiply. And now does this question become pretty little bit easier? I hope so. What's your profit Monday through Wednesday? I'm not going to circle it as my answer, but I'm going to add those up. All right. There's my profit for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So add them all up. So whatever rows you multiply, that's your label on your rows. And whatever columns you multiply, that's the label on your new columns. So we're looking at what here? $717.80 profit for those three days. Any issues there? I'm not going to exaggerate the point here. We only got one more. We're all good. Okay. And then the last one, now I just changed the, the labels. I think they're the same size matrix, right? Three by three and a three by two. So our answer should be a three by two. Except now we got political parties, ages, and male, female. So go ahead, take your time again. Go ahead and calculate uh, a, a times B. And then see after you're done, I'll give you more time. See after you're done if you can tell what the rows and the columns are. Okay, so those are the first, that's the first row right there. Second row, 12,500 with 14,800. And third row, 3,700 along with 4,600. Okay, so there are my, my end up matrix. Okay, do we know what the rows and columns mean? Look back at matrix A, you multiplied rows for that one, right? So, and the rows represented your political party here. So Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. And then matrix B, you multiplied the rows. So the first row should be all the males. And then second row, females. And hopefully from here now, if our numbers are correct, how many female Democrats? I just find the intersection. Female Democrats, find that intersection. There's 14,800 of them. And then how many male Republicans? Boom, male Republicans, 15,800. All right, so just as long as you know what the rows and columns mean, it should be no issues. Uh, there's a select few of you in here that still owe or need to finish some Delta math. So you got plenty of time now while we go back and work on those. Or if you just want the grade you got in Aspen, you don't have to do anything. That's up to you, though. And then tomorrow, you got two word problems to do. Thursday quiz. Oh.